Hey everybody, Josh from Popular here, and we're sure you've wondered what's going on inside students' heads. While Populi can't show you how students see the world, we can show you how students see your course in Populi. This helps you as you're building your course, you can make sure things look like you're expecting. It helps you as you run the course, you can see and then confirm what students tell you they're seeing. And related to this, it helps you troubleshoot issues on the course. As you can probably already tell, this is most useful for faculty and teaching assistant users. However, folks with the academic admin and registrar roles have the same ability available to them. A couple of things to handle up front. You are not able to see what a student sees outside of a course. So this student view doesn't work for Populi overall. It only works on a course. Also, this won't let you see things from a specific student's perspective. So if you have a student named Bobby Joe Lerner in your course, you won't be able to see exactly what Bobby Joe is seeing. You'll see what a typical student in the course is able to see. Turning this on and back off is really easy. Over on the course, on the right-hand side here, you'll see three stacked dots. Click those and you'll get an option to view course as student. Select that and voila, you're immediately plunged into the paradise that is popularly from a student's perspective. Schwow. I can click around a little bit, see how good it looks. Wow, looks great. Now, if I wanna get back out, I can just go down over here to where it says exit, and I've got a couple of options here, but I'm gonna click exit there, and I'm back out in the land of the faculty user. How could you use this? Obviously, knowing what tabs over here show up for you and don't show up for students is generally helpful. You can always refresh about that. Once you've put your course together, you've designed lessons, created assignments, it's not a bad idea to have a look at things from the student perspective. But the most significant use comes when you get questions like these from students. I can't see the test I'm supposed to be taking. That lesson doesn't show up for me. Anytime you get a student struggling with anything like this, the first thing you can do is jump into the course and have a look using the student view. So let's say we've gotten a report like this from a student. They can't see a test that they're expecting to see. Instead of just taking that student's word for it, you turn on student view over here, and we can see that in this situation, when we go over to tests, that test isn't showing up for your test student either. Testing this way won't usually tell you exactly what the problem is, but it'll confirm that it's a broader problem than just one student. So we're going to step back out of the student view here, clicking exit. Ah, the start date for this is still in the future. So I'm going to adjust that. I'll go to the assignments, test. I'll adjust that date, save that. Now, when I click up here and go back to view course as student, and then go to tests. You can see I have the option to take now. Kaboom. Just a couple more things here. Once you go to the student view, you'll end up with a test student on the roster. That's where this user's test student is showing up. Only you can see the student here. It's marked as a test student. You can see that little I there. We hold over that, we've got test student there. You can get rid of that by going up here to the three stack dots and then using one of these options here. One of them will clear the student's progress, leaving the student here, and the other just wipes it out completely. There's no huge disadvantage to having the test student active here, but in most situations, there's also no real reason or advantage to letting it remain active. Again, only the user who creates the test student can see that it's here on the roster, so it's not like you're cluttering things up for others. You can also clear the student's progress while you're using the student view. So let's say that you take a test and you wanna see how that's working for this test student, and then you wanna start the test again. If you clear the student's progress down here, you'll be able to start the test again. 
Also, you have the option to try this student as a fully enrolled student or as an audit student. So if you're hearing about something weird that only seems to be affecting audit students, you can check that out as well. We have an article in our knowledge base that covers some of the same information. And you'll find it linked in the description below. Also, if you want to explore more training options, you should be aware of our focus sessions. These are one hour long sessions that take place over Zoom. You and several other Populi users meet up with a Populi support rep and you get a little training and then you get to ask questions. We have a rotating sequence of topics. So if you miss a session on something like admissions or billing, don't worry, it'll be rolling back around. You can get to the focus sessions by going to the knowledge base, clicking on announcements and releases, and then clicking into focus sessions. We've also popped a link directly to the focus sessions down in the description. I've been Joshua Populi, you've been great. Thanks for watching.